הלכה סש מזוות הדלקת הנרות, חנוכה, מצווה חביבה היא עד מאוד. מצוות הדלקת נרות חנוכה זה דבר אימפורנט מצווה, דבר ספיישל מצווה. מפני שיש בה משום פרסום הנס. אפילו העני שבישראל שאין לו מה יאכל אלא מן הצדקה even if you have a honey and he doesn't have what to eat so usually that he doesn't have you don't have, you don't have ובאי הלכה סס בוחר כסותו או נותנו בעבוד לשם הסרת שמן או נרות you have to sell your clothing or maybe give it as a collateral to be able to buy candles או נרות חנוכה ברוך השם, we're not, we're not in, this, in this stage, but it shows you how important the mitzvah is. On other mitzvot, the person is not obligated to sell his clothing, to get rid of his uh, own belongings in order to do a mitzvah. But this mitzvah, yes, it's a very important one. Vechen chayav laskir atzmo kefoer sachir l'shem kach. person has to even put himself to work in order to be able to make a few dollars so he can pay for the oil, whatever he needs. Kava home, and one has to take off the work in order to be able to come home and light the candles. One should make sure they leave himself time in order to be at this time, at the time of lighting again the candles. Now the Chai says this is not a mitzvah which is only for men. Even women are obligated. Therefore, if you have a woman who's living by herself and she has her own apartment, and she's staying in that house, the halacha is that you have to make sure that she lights as well. And it's not enough to just invite her to come over, we're lighting candles, come let's light candles. If she's going to go back home for the night, then she's obligated to light in her apartment, even if she lit with you at your house. Especially if she's not mishtatef. If she's mishtatef and she's planning to stay in your house, then it's not a problem. Then she can be mishtatef and be with you. However, if she's going back home, then the woman, the person is obligated to light their own candles in their own house.